What's up, Tube? You with your boy Coyote Mike, and I'm back with another video. So today's video is gonna be about the uh, oil that I have dripping from underneath my truck. You guys know that uh, I pulled my engine out, sent it off to a mechanic shop to actually go and worked on it, put the engine back in, as it was taking us too much time to actually put everything out or put everything back in. So I sent it off to a mechanic shop, you know, thinking it was in good hands, everything would go good. But upon getting it back, you know, I had this massive oil leak, as you guys uh, saw in previous videos, previous shorts. Uh, I was going to put the company out on blast, and uh, that's what this video is about today. You know, exposing shady-ass mechanic shops and, you know, paid, what, $1,300, $1,400 to have the motor drop back in, thinking it was getting done correctly. The oh, man had my God! To uh, basically, you know, fix his uh, fuck-ups. And... Uh, Sorry for the language, man, but it, it's just it's just got me a certain type of way. That's the reason I really haven't been uh, uploading videos. Not only that, uh, you guys are aware. If you guys watch the videos, watch the channel, uh, you guys know that uh, my trailer was stolen. And so upon covering that and dealing with the shop and dealing with the property management, uh, trying to get them to fix the damages that occurred to the shop where I store and house my, uh, my trailer, um, you know, they're not wanting to repair the fence, the damages or anything like that. They want me to come out of pocket. So long story short, I've been in transition, trying to move shops, find a shop, actually got a shop now. So trying to juggle, you know, still working, still putting out business and, uh, uh, trying to find a new location and doing the videos, dealing with the truck. You know, it's a lot of stuff on the plate, but, uh, you know, uh, so kind of put the videos on hold for now so I can get everything going. But nonetheless, man, I'm going to expose this shady-ass fucking mechanic shop today. And uh, you guys let me know, you know, am I right? Am I wrong for, uh, you know, putting these people on blast? But, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. And, you know, bought a new oil pan thinking it was the oil pan. It wasn't the oil pan. It's actually the uh, timing cover. So when they put the engine back together, bolted everything back up, they failed to uh, seal uh, the uh, timing cover back to the uh, engine block and uh, it's leaking from the uh, timing cover but nonetheless man let's get into this video I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on and I'm gonna put these people on blast and uh, you guys let me know what y'all think give me a thumbs up and uh, drop your comments down below let me know what you would do how you would react but nonetheless man let's get into this all right guys so here we go right here so let me get up underneath the truck so in order to get to my oil pan, of course I gotta remove all of this, all of my lower cross members. I gotta remove this bar right here, this cross member right here, this one above it. Uh, being that I have a lift, I gotta drop down my lower control arms. Yeah, it's just a pain yeah. in the ass to get to, to my oil pan. And you can see down there where the new oil pan is put in, but this, is where the leak is actually coming from. Let me see, let me get some light on for you guys. So, here we go up in here. All right, so here we go right here. So you can see how everything is wet right in there. Let's see if I can get a better angle. So that is the uh, timing chain cover right there. So you can see we're getting ready to drop this AC compressor so we can see exactly what's behind here and where it's leaking. But that looks like the source right there coming right from the side of the um, uh, timing cover. So it wasn't put on correctly. Just a lot of things weren't put on correctly. Got a new oil filter in here, uh, fresh oil. You can see everything's kind of dripping from the top coming down from the bottom so we don't know if it's the front main seal but we're gonna find all that crap out today once we drop this uh, AC compressor and get that out the way but nonetheless man I mean this is just straight up fucking bullshit these fucking shade tree ass fucking mechanic shops you know they take a hard earned hard earned fucking money and you know not only that but uh my powder coating let me turn this light off all right there we go my powder coating i don't know if you can tell or not from this video but 
you see where it looks red and then there's like smears that looks like a little orange so with all the oil that was dropping you know it fucked up my goddamn powder coat job so pissed off about that you know it's just a lot of money I put into this and for these people just to go and touch it for a few hours and to fucking damage it and not take ownership really pisses me off so thinking about following a lawsuit but uh you know we'll see all right so here we go we're actually up underneath the uh truck here and you can see everything that's just full of oil And this is with a new oil pan in there. See how it's all wet? Yeah, this is just, uh, you know, all this shit isn't, you know, called for when, you know, you're taking your your vehicle that you use for daily work and you know it's your vehicle man you put a lot of money into it you're paying for it and you send it off to somebody to get repaired and all of this happened because of all the oil that was dripping this was all the electrical tape and all the uh you know all of the uh, wrap that they put around the electrical wires this is going to my starter all my wires everything's all torn up down here aiding up uh due to you know the oil that has been dripping on this continuously oh, and like I said I just haven't had time to get to it and uh, if these motherfuckers would have told me that uh, hey man bring, go ahead bring it back in we're gonna warranty your shit we're gonna fix it and I actually did take it back to them the first time and the dumbasses put uh, silicone all on the top of the uh, oil pan so we're well, not on the top they put it on the sides on both sides of the oil pan and didn't put any uh, on the back end or on the front the front is a real pain in the ass to get to and that's where initially I thought the uh, oil leak was coming from from the front of the oil pan but it's actually not it's coming from the damn uh, timing cover they didn't seal it correctly they put the gaskets in there or whatever but um, you know this is just a uh, you know this is just straight up bullshit you know but let's see if you can see down here you see the different colors all of these right here, all these little dots. This is where the uh, oil was dripping over and actually stained and ruined my powder coat job. But yeah, so that's where we're at, guys. All right, let me get up out of here. All right, so actually to replace all this on the oil pan took me two and a half days because like I said, I got to drop all of this stuff, not the front, but I do got to take off the uh, bolt right here for the lower control arm, the bolt back there, drop those two back cross members, lower the control arm, pull off the tires. It's just a bunch of shit that I had to go through. Uh, thankfully, my buddy, my neighbor, uh, you guys know him from the videos, Lee, you know, he was kind enough to give me a hand on this. But today we're going to be removing the, uh, we're going to be taking all of this off right here, moving the air compressor, taking off all the pulleys and trying to find the source of that leak as I'm gonna be making some pretty good drives daily now, being that my shop's a little further out uh, out of the area. But um, let me get back up. All right guys, so that's pretty much about it, man. That's just the little stuff that I've been going through. Um, it's not little to me, you know, when you drop in $1,400, $1,300, you know, on something that you think is gonna be done right and you get this back, you know, it fucking pisses me off. But, uh, Alex, the guy of the mechanic shop, and I'll put his shop right here. So when you guys see this shop or you guys look him up, man, uh, just know that you may not be getting good quality work for your money. And we work hard for our money and, uh, you know, just bolts were missing. A lot of stuff was wrong with the truck when I got it back. Stuff wasn't placed on there properly. Give me a second, I'll show you a prime example. So a prime example right here. So this, you guys know if you have an F-150, this sits up here in the middle and there's actually a bracket that it sits onto and it's sideways. So this wasn't, the power cord wasn't pulled properly up and put on here. So this is the type of shoddy work you're gonna get like this. 
So that's the type of shoddy work you're gonna get, man. And you know, I thought about this long and hard about uh, you know putting this company on blast because I'm fully aware of what videos like this can do to a company. But uh, you know, the guy has failed to reach out to me. His excuse was that he is actually doing it for a favor. Uh, my brother-in-law had referred me to him, and. You know, I trusted his word. My brother works at my my brother-in-law works at a car dealership, and is a finance manager for a car lot. So he knows his mechanic. So he said he did good work. And the mechanic, when I called him up and told him about these problems, he says, "Well, I was just doing you a favor because you're so and so's brother-in-law." Said, "Well, fuck! If this is the type of favor you do, man, I want. It's just it's just bullshit. You know, warranty your work, man. Look for your." help your customers out if you do something wrong admit your faults and you know get the vehicle back in there and help people man don't just take their money be a dirty ass crook but nonetheless man uh i'm gonna expose this guy right here man for uh you know shade tree mechanics in san antonio texas if you guys are looking for a mechanic shop and come across this guy alex stay away from his shop man his shop they're gonna do you wrong they did me wrong and that's the reason for this video but nonetheless man i'm Hopefully, by October 1st, I should be in my new shop and things should be going. I'll be making new videos, buying new mods for the truck again. But nonetheless, man, it's your boy Coyote Mike. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification. It really helps your boy out. Until next time, it's your boy Coyote Mike.